Hello everybody, I just wanted to just make a video how to visualize our data in a data set that you can feel a bit better to start. I'm not that much uh, confident in Rust, I have started a few weeks ago, so let's see. Uh, this is the data we have downloaded from the Udacity website. Uh, it has two folders, calibration and mostly the YML files that I guess they are uh, trans uh, transfer matrices from one frame to another frame that is given also in the rules of the rules page of uh, Udacity. Uh, here are data I mean, recorded for different stuff so I just want to show how to visualize them using the RASP. First of all you need to run here the Rust core so it's running now it's ready so to see the stuff in the back file I just opened the RQT back package yeah that's it and we are opening one of them I mean intersection it's a bit better I mean it has a moving stuff so in this back they're publishing these um, uh, topics in the back and you can see that it's all layer time sample this is uh, using the uh, here yeah, that's showing the images here as a thumbnail uh, of the camera on the car it's constant because the car is constant and you can see all the data here uh, okay if for example you want to see the data on how is publishing what is inside and this stuff for example you can just open for, like, for example well time points view raw you will get here nothing I don't know why but for example just check this view raw nothing again yeah we didn't see anything because yeah, it's obvious uh, view raw nothing is here because the timestamp is a bit before everything so we just move the data here and I have stuff here so it's just a header, Velodyne, uh, frame names, the frame ID is called Velodyne, fields, I don't know how the point cloud is presenting here. Um, or for example, you can check the image view, even you can just see it like this. Uh, no. The size is too bad, let's move it somewhere. like this oh, okay, that's here. so when you just move you can see the data is fixed something is coming uh, it should be somewhere yeah here there is a car passing by from in front of the camera um, yeah but it doesn't, that much doesn't matter okay and also you can see the image how it's the raw yeah, how is the raw image is represented here so you have a height width something like grbg8 and the data the data is it's a pointer to an array with this size and stuff like uh, and the id frame id <sighs> uh, yeah so we want to publish this data on the raw score so to publish all, just publish all. So we have to use, I mean, I want to use the RVs here to plot, to show stuff. So RVs, I need two RVs because I want to show two different things and because I don't know how to still, how to transfer data between, I mean, transfer, I, I don't know how to use the transfer uh, package in the ROS. So I have to show each of the uh, stuff in in uh, in different RVs. So here I have I want to show the point cloud uh, to see how to add the point cloud. Just add. So these are different stuff we can add here right now as a default. So the point cloud. This is the readme file given in the data set. Sorry, this one. Yeah and uh, so the point club from Volodyne is the topic is called Volodyne points 
So and the type is point cloud two. So we have to add uh, where is that point cloud two add and this is it and the topic is this. So be be sh make sure that there is no space in the name like this, otherwise you will get an error like this. So we just remove the error. Yeah. So this is added here. Uh, in the data, um, we have two GPS data here, odometry data. One of this is this one, and the other one is this. This is probably obstacle one. We have to detect it using AI, and this is the uh, let's see. Probably this is for the car. So this is the topic name and the type messages type message type that is published by this topic is this one. So we have to add this. Uh, here we have to find odometry as it's written here. Odometry, where is that? Oh, yeah. And the topic name is this. And we have another one of the odometry uh, from the odometry type. Um, the topic name of this one is this. Yeah, but still you cannot see anything. So let's turn on the grid here, but here you don't need grid. Uh, here we will get an error. We have to change this to, well, a GPS, but let it be. I want to show you the error also. Um, so let's, let's run the uh, package. So this is it. So we have to just click on the run. So it started from here, but let's make it from zero as you can see here we have a data so there is a car coming from this side I don't know why it's showing like this when I'm recording the video it was much better before uh, yeah and on this side I have an error what is the error saying it just says uh, it says from frame GPS fixed frame Velodyne does not exist. Mm, so to show this, I just changed this to GPS, and I have some data here. Let's show you in the same direction as the one on the left side. Yeah, I can decrease this a bit, like 50. So, the first one was GPS or TK fix is the frame that is on the car. Let's say self-driving car in future. And this one is the car that probably we have to take, detect the position on the left side is showing like that. And I guess ah, I wanted to show you one thing more uh, to just see the uh, publications like this. You have to run our QT graph. In this graph, it show you uh, what node is publishing what and what node is subscribing to what. Probably you will see this at. Uh, when you run it, but just untick this here and check this and then you will get all the stuff you have so This is running the uh, the back file. We have some transfer TF mm, sub, uh, I guess topics here and Yeah, these are one of the RVs the other RVs uh, Yeah, and these are different data. You can also Visualize that radar data, uh, but again you have to change this velodyne. Okay, let's let's try that. Uh, so in this readme file, I want to show you a radar, for example. Uh, okay, for example, this this is a, again radar point is from the class of 
point cloud it's, it has a type of point cloud 2 um, and the topic radar points paste again we, we will get an error yes because still says the from frame radar fixed frame velodyne doesn't does not exist so we probably should use the uh, tf package from ross to handle these errors but right now you can just show it uh, i'll turn off this and you can show it in like what was the name radar now where is it so we have some points here I'm not sure that it's visible on the video. Ah, okay. Some points are like blinking, but what about, for example, showing this radar range? So let's let's remove this. Add the concept from the range. Where is the range? I guess we, yes and this range we need a topic for that radar range and yeah this is at the moment that the car is probably in front of it or I don't know okay l let's show you the image also this is the image and I have to give a topic. Uh, image was called image raw. Yeah, here I have the image. So this is a kind of. And at the moment that the car is passing, yeah, it just decreased, but it's too late. I mean, it's probably it's not synchronized that much well and yeah i guess that was it thank you for watching